What up, YouTube? Your boy Night Rider Fitness in the building, man. Uh, sitting back running some errands right now. Um, thought I would take this time, man, to make this video while my mom and my uh, wife are inside right now. Uh, thank you guys and appreciate you guys for giving us the love and support uh, with the update video. I want to thank all y'all, man. Uh, now on to the topic of this video, supplements, should you take them, and the agendas of supplement companies and bodybuilders is out of control. Uh, Big Tone, man, from NBO, put a video up, man. If you haven't checked that out, man, go check out NBO Fitness in that video, man, supplements. And uh, he put this out a little while back, man, and I checked it out. And, and you know, I'm 100% agree with him. Uh, I've been feeling that way for a very long time, even before this YouTube channel even came into existence. Uh, because I, I personally believe, man, that food and, and, and exercise is what's going to get you where you want to be. Uh, also, man, there are some um, bigger YouTube channels like uh, Rich Piana, for example, uh, who have been talking about this particular subject, man, I, I think over the last month or two. And Rich Piana has come out and just been open about a lot of different things. And one especially is that when he was with Mutant, you know, people was buying the protein because he was telling them, yeah, you know, it was good protein. And he said, hey, I was a paid sponsored athlete. And yet and still, he said, eventually it caught up with me. My conscience, in other words, he was saying his conscience caught up with him, telling people that this is a great product and they're buying it because of him. They're not buying it because it's the ingredients in the product and it's a really good solid product they're buying it because rich piano said so and i just want to tell y'all man a lot of these supplements out here is total bs man bodybuilding supplements are total bs man uh, but i do understand it man we are all natural bodybuilders uh gym rats we trying to get an edge we trying to get a head um and so that's why we end up purchasing these products but I want people to understand a couple things, man. Don't buy them because your favorite YouTuber or your favorite bodybuilder said this is a great product. Buy the product because you've researched it yourself. Buy the product because you looked at the ingredients and you've seen it. You looked at those ingredients and you know exactly what they are. Buy it because of that. Because at the end of the day, let's keep it 100 you casting your vote for these products every time you purchase them, man. You are telling this company, hey, we support you. You are a great company. So I'm going to continue to keep buying your product. You understand what I'm saying? I, hey, and another thing, I'm not against anybody, any YouTuber or any company right now that's out there that are making products. I'm not against you. I just want you to make a damn good product and be honest about what's in your product. You know what I'm saying? Then that way, we as natural bodybuilders can purchase it and feel comfortable about our purchase. Okay? Because there's so much BS in the industry, man, that I that's why I eat a bunch of food, man. I would rather do what Serge Nebray used to do and eat four or five pounds or eight pounds of horse meat to get my creatine and my BCAAs than to go out here and purchase a bullcrap BCAA and a bullcrap creatine product. Plain and simple, man. I'd rather do that than to sit here and, you know what I'm saying, give people my money. I'm just being honest about it, man. Number two, think about the agendas of these people, man. They, they're in this to make money. That, that's their whole agenda. They're not in it because the product the product is, is just amazing. I mean, let's think about it, man. I mean, let's, I know I'm getting off subject with this one a little bit, but when you go to the doctor, man, it's, it's not about healing or giving you a cure for whatever's wrong with you what it's about is the comeback it ain't no money and no cure the money is in the comeback man the money is in you coming back saying hey i got another ailment that's why it's ten thousand side effects to half the medicines you take because why you gotta come back to get healed for them ailments it's the same thing with the damn supplement industry man you gonna take for example a pre-workout when realistically, it could be a placebo effect, but you thinking, hey, man, I got a great workout, and this mug was off the chain. I got to go back and buy some more of this. But that's what they want you to do. It's all about the comeback. So think about it, man. All I want y'all to do is just think about it. All the supplements that you're purchasing, okay? Because, again, 
if they was 100%, it would basically say, hey, this is 100%, no diet and exercise needed. But that ain't what it say. It's like I say, with diet and exercise, you can get some results. That's what it say on the bottom. It also say it got a proprietary blend in most of these products. So, hell, what's in the proprietary blend? Ain't nobody questioning that, though. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's telling them that they need to be transparent with their proprietary blend, but we go ahead and continue to keep voting and buying the product. Well, not me. The only supplements I take, guys, are supplements that are conducive to the health of my body, which I'll make a video on that later. But I just want to put that out there, man. You know, my two cents on supplements and eating real food and you know, uh, a lot of the agendas of these bodybuilders, because y'all know as well as I know that a half of these bodybuilders that's being sponsored by these companies ain't taking none of these damn products, man. They taking more than anything. They taking that damn juice. We know that. But yet and still, we still like, oh, so-and-so is on the cover of this, and he's saying it's a great product, and you going out there and just giving your damn money away. It's funny to me because a lot of y'all out there probably spend more money on supplements than you do food, and that's what's crazy. Because you know, why you think America is the most obese country in the world? It ain't because they're taking supplements. It's because these motherfuckers is eating too much damn food. Just imagine if these people who was fat and obese was in the gym eating, you know, they eating all that damn food and then they train at the same time. Imagine that shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all take this, man, for what y'all want. Night Rider Fitness. I'm out.